Over the years, towns and cities have experienced rapid growth, but with little, if any, regard to advanced planning in some areas. This has resulted to people living in crowded shanties, where basic amenities such as water, waste management and sanitation barely exist. On the other hand, urbanization has seen the growth of industries and more motorist transport that have increased carbon and greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, a direct cause of climate change, thus extreme weather patterns like drought and floods. NEMA is in the process of ensuring vehicles on our roads are environmental friendly. All vehicles will have to be inspected by the Motor Vehicle Inspection Unit to ensure that before they go to the road, their own the emissions are quite to standard. The Nairobi City Council is also striving to provide water and waste management services in informal settlements. Areas which are habitable, a planning intervention is done in a participatory way with the people living in those particular areas, uh, citing the example of Korokocha, where infrastructure, basic infrastructure, roads, water, electricity has been provided so that then the structures can be improved by the people who live there. Plans are underway to decommission the Dandora dump site, which is characterized with high emission of methane, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, thus seen as contributing to climate change as they trap heat and increase global temperatures. The decommissioning will pave way for a landfill that will incorporate modern technology to tap harmful gases from the decomposing waste, some of which will be cleaned and others used to generate electricity. The place is supposed to be closed down in a first manner so that the dangers, as it were, that have been arising from the Dandora dump site, because all the solid waste is mixed, both organic and inorganic, will come to a stop. We should have sanitary landfills, which allow for protection of groundwater and they allow for trapping of the methane gas, which is now used as a fuel, or if it's just not enough, it is frayed, that is, it's burned at the chimney, so that it doesn't go out as methane gas. Environment experts say proper planning and sensitization on the environment is one way to ensure environmental sustainability and mitigate the negative environmental impacts brought about by urbanization. People also need to be sensitized on individual responsibility to manage waste through reduction, reuse and recycling. Which says if as much as possible avoid waste. If you can't afford waste, make sure that you produce as little as possible. Though there are policies and laws in place to help create a clean and sustainable environment for future generations, as well as mitigate the impact of climate change, implementation remains a challenge. Rivers like this have become a garbage bin for factories, industries and of domestic waste. But this will change once the climate change bill is fully in place. If Parliament passes the recently gazetted Climate Change Authority Bill, then Kenya is set to become the first African country to establish an independent Climate Change Authority. The authority will advise the national and county governments on legislation and other measures on mitigation and adaptation to climate change. For Saving the Earth, I'm Abigail Sum.